Well, let's move on to other news now. And Donald Trump has announced his plans of meeting Xi Jinping at the G20 summit in June. Now, Trump says that his meeting with the Chinese president will likely be very fruitful and believes that China wants to reach a deal. This even as he vented about China pulling back on key portions of the deal being negotiated between the two economic powers. Trump also planned to meet the Russian president, has also planned to meet the Russian president Vladimir Putin, a meeting uh, the Kremlin has ruled out, however. Well, the reaction is very simple. China has been taking advantage of the United States for many, many years. I'm not just talking about during the Obama administration. Uh, you can go back long before that. And it's been taking out 400, 500, 600 billion dollars a year out of the United States. And we can't let that happen. Uh, we're in a very strong position. Our economy has been very powerful. Theirs has not been. Uh, we've gone up a lot since our great election in 2016. And uh, if you look at the numbers, they've gone down quite a bit. Uh, we're dealing with them. We have a very good relationship. Maybe something will happen. We're going to be meeting, as you know, at the G20 in Japan. And that'll be, I think, probably a very fruitful meeting. And while Trump's comments uh, came after his top economic advisor spent the weekend trying to defuse the trade war and demonstrate that trade negotiations between the two countries were moving forward. And right now, hundreds of billions of dollars. We're taking in billions of dollars of tariffs. And those tariffs are going to be... Uh, Tremendously, if you look at what we've done thus far with China, we've never taken in 10 cents until I got elected. Now we're taking in billions and billions. Now, it went up as of Friday very substantially. It's 25 percent or 200 billion. And remember, China has said that it would impose higher tariffs on a range of U.S. goods, including frozen vegetables and liquidified natural gas, striking back in its trade war with Washington after Trump warned it not to.